We're here today to demonstrate an analog bottle top dispenser manufactured by a company called Brandtech. Brandtech is, is a manufacturer out of Germany. Every unit comes with a certificate of, of, of uh, calibration. The units have a date and a serial number which relate directly to the side of every unit that's marketed to you. Each unit comes as you see. You have four bottle top dispensers two of which are, which are the most commonly used in Canada. Now what we have here is a manual which is available, comes with every unit, it's in English and in French. Now I'm quickly going to show you how to assemble this unit correctly for your everyday use. The first thing we have here is a safety valve which is located on this dispenser tube. We quickly assemble the units like so, attach this part and this part like so, once you've attached this and this firmly, you should be able to turn with your fingers slightly. We have an overflow tube, a safety overflow tube, which now it will assemble through this hole here. And then we have the, the dispenser tube here, which basically is your filling tube. This must be inserted fairly firmly into the bottom of the unit. Now. In this case, we're going to use a one liter amber bottle, which is very common in Canada. This is the adapter you use. You simply screw that on, loosely with your finger, tighten, fill your bottle, place this into here, screw this on, finger tight. Now, the correct way is this little red valve, this cover, is, this cap is taken off, and you simply draw up the first amount into a beaker, plunge down, this first time you're going to have air which is trapped in these two cylinders here will be pushed out. You'll be drawing up now pure finished product. As you lift the plunger this will fill up. There won't be any bubbles in that and then you simply press down. You should be dispensing at about 4.1 mils of material in this case. Now if you need to change the calibration it's in the manual. It shows you how to calibrate. Now, there's, every unit comes with a calibration key. In this case, calibration key simply sits in the top here and you turn it left or right. So you have a, a plus or negative volume adjustment. Everybody is located at different altitudes, sea level or whatever, mountain level. And because these are manufactured in Germany at a different altitude, there will be a variance in volume because of the specific gravity of the material. What you need to do is simply take a class A graduated cylinder, do a dispense, see what exactly where it comes out. If it's a plus or minus situation, again, the key plus or minus. Now, the unit is available to be running on, as we showed you earlier, the one liter bottle. Now, say for instance you wanted to use a gallon of the material, simply take the gallon connector, finger tight, place it here. Now, you'll notice the shaft on the filling tube is too small. It can be pulled out to have it as long as possible. Again, you'll find it's too short. So we do have optional filling tubes of different lengths. This material is made of pure Teflon. This here is your overflow tube from your safety valve which runs back into your bottle. Teflon. This part here, the safety valve and the filling tube and these parts here are now all made of Teflon and can be autoclaved. A good operating practice should be every time you finish this with a bottle, it's empty, you should basically flush the entire system with hot water to clear out anything that may, may be sticking in the valves that are located in here and in here. These are little metal ball bearings and they will stick to the Teflon depending on what materials you're using and what you need to do is flush between bottles with hot, boiling hot water. This will allow the unit to clear any sticky materials left in it so that when you reinstall your unit, you're installing with fresh units and everything's working properly. Thank you very much.